So my name's Derek Woodson. Uh, I personally shot this uh, first with a Glock 19X 9mm. Uh, my first uh, five rounds are right here, center mass. Of course, no deformation. Uh, spalling worked as it should. Uh, the second gun I shot it with was 762 by 39 and I actually shot it down here, kind of on the right. Uh, once again, same thing, except the round real good. Hit really hard, too. Um, the third thing I shot it with, I think, was a Sega uh, 223 caliber AK. And I shot it, I think, right up here in this area right here. And then the last thing I shot it with was a Benelli M4 uh, semi-auto shotgun. And I put two slugs center mass, and they hit it really hard. And uh, like I said, the armor did its job. It did what it's supposed to. I'm impressed. I really, in, I really enjoyed watching the demonstration of uh, seeing what the spalling could take. And uh, like I said, I've shot a lot of armor, a lot of uh, steel in my time, and uh, it's an impressive product. Hi, I'm Jacob Weingartner. Uh, I was the second shooter. Uh, I shot uh, initially with a VCM 12.5 uh, suppressed 5.56, 55 grain, just full metal jacket, probably somewhere around the neighborhood of 2,600 feet per second. Um, uh, I initially uh, was aiming here, obviously my point of aim was a little off because uh, I suck. And uh, I got two rounds right on the edge, nice little group right here, and I fully expected uh, the, the armor to withstand it until I discovered that the armor was only five millimeters thick and I was like I, I after he told me that I was like I, this should have broke so looking at the armor and seeing what we've done to it um, not only did I shoot there uh, later on and you saw this on the video but we did a kind of a, a press in and shooting and we shot over 100 rounds at this thing center mass and nine millimeter and uh, 5.56 five, and, and 7.62 by 3 and all this cool stuff that happened and I was impressed with the durability of this and being in law enforcement as well there is tremendous application for this for the officer uh, if this could be in every patrol car for every officer to respond to active shooters or uh, officers in distress and they're under shots um, this would be an incredible tool for them to have in their toolbox to not only keep the officer safe but get them home every night to their family. Dean Hargrove, uh, I'm a civilian shooter. We come out to test this armor. I blasted with a 14 and a half inch BCM and 10 and a half inch Mark 18s and a Glock 17. Uh, the 14 and a half, two shots, hit shots, it done absolutely nothing. Hit very hard, no deformity. Uh, we, we killed it with the short barrels with the 10 and a half, multiple shots as fast as we could go, no deformity, everything looks good. To be honest, I'm really shocked. I can't believe it held up to that abuse, but it done its job. My name is Mason Wortham. I'm a law enforcement officer and I was a force shooter. I shot this with a Glock 41, 45 caliber, 230 oh. grain ammo, and also a 14 and a half barrel AR with 223, 55 grain right here. There was no deformation on the other side. Uh, all of us shot this piece of armor with over 100 rounds and it held up really well. Uh, it's a super good tool for law enforcement and possibly military. Uh, it held up really well to all the abuse we uh, gave it.